Ripple is a payment protocol that uses blockchain technology to process foreign money transfers. It offers low sale charges and extremely fast processing times, and it's partnered with hundreds of fiscal institutions that use its technology. Even after SEC lawsuits, many people are positive about XRP's growth. In today's video, we'll discuss why people are buying XRP like crazy right now. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update. There's a common misconception that Ripple is a cryptocurrency. Ripple itself is not a cryptocurrency, but it does have a native cryptocurrency called XRP. Those who like Ripple and want to invest in it can buy XRP. Although Ripple has potential, it also has had some high-profile issues. More specifically, the US Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, filed a suit against it at the end of 2020. Even so, here's a complete look at its story so far and how it works, if this crypto project caught our eye. Software developer Ryan Fugger came up with the first interpretation of Ripple when he innovated Ripple Pay in 2004. The site allowed people to extend credit to others in their community. This makes Ripple the rare crypto design that was around in some form before Bitcoin, although it was not a cryptocurrency at the time. Bitcoin's anonymous creator, who used the alias Satoshi Nakamoto, even mentioned Ripple formally in an email. Programmer Jed McCaleb started developing the XRP cryptocurrency and blockchain in 2011. He signed a team, found investors, and approached Fugger about using his Ripple Pay network in 2012. Fugger agreed to hand over control of Ripple Pay. They launched their company and the XRP cryptocurrency in 2012. The company was firstly called Newcoin before changing the name to OpenCoin and then subsequently to Ripple. Ripple would go on to establish affiliations with fiscal institutions. In 2019, it announced that more than 300 fiscal institutions in more than 45 countries were using its RippleNet payment network. However, Ripple's success so far is one point in its favor. If you're arguing whether this cryptocurrency is a good investment. On December 22, 2020, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple for selling $1.3 billion in unrecorded securities through its XRP cryptocurrency. Ripple has denied the allegation, claiming that XRP is not a security. The most significant obstacle for Ripple and XRP right now is an ongoing SEC suit. On December 21, 2020, the SEC filed a lawsuit professing that Ripple vended $1.3 billion in unrecorded securities through its XRP cryptocurrency. Ripple claims that XRP is not a security. It's also said that the SEC did not give it proper notice that dealing XRP would be considered a securities immolation. One possible outcome is that Ripple and the SEC come to a settlement agreement. Until that happens or there's a ruling, the case will be a nuisance in Ripple's side for several reasons. It's keeping Ripple from its aim of going public. It's resulted in XRP being inaccessible to buy on numerous major cryptocurrency exchanges. It has likely kept XRP's price down. To be fair, it has still quadrupled investors' money in a year. Investors still anticipate XRP to go up if the verdict is in their favor. That's all for today. Let us know your views in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.